How's it going everybody? DM Gaming here. And I wanna welcome you to this brand new segment that I would like to call Random Dragon Ball Thoughts, episode one. So today's Random Dragon Ball Thought is, what if Goku is a real heir? Yes, a real heir. Now we know the story that Goku is actually a radish farmer, but what if that's not so much the case? Or what if there's more to it than that? I want you to consider this. Goku always seems to want to fight away from people. And I know what people are going to say. Well, that's because he wants to protect them. That's because he wants to save them. If that's the case, Goku literally puts the world in danger with almost every fight that he has. Because he allows the enemy to power up to their max. He also allows them to uh, escape if they want to, as long as they promise to never return. I want you to consider something. Think about what a realtor does. I mean, they sell houses, but they also sell land. Now, Goku claims to be upset whenever they destroy buildings and things of that nature. Could it be because Goku possibly owns them and wants to sell them? And if buildings are being destroyed in a neighborhood, then good luck as a realtor trying to sell said houses in said neighborhood. But it goes a little bit deeper than that. Realtors can also sell land. Goku always seems to take the fight to places that tend to have mountains and things of that nature. Have you ever seen him fight? on a straight plane of land. I'll wait. I don't think he ever has, has he? Consider this. Goku, if he can take the fight out there to where these things are happening, the same effect that a fight would have in the city where buildings are being destroyed is going to lower the price of that real estate. The same thing happens in the wilderness where if you if you know that this land keeps getting destroyed for some reason, then it's going to lower the price of the land. Not only that, but consider this also. That, hey, it, it's going to be a lot easier to sell this land. Or you could do a lot more with the land, i.e. farming, if the land is flat, for the most part. You don't see people, for the most part, there are some people that do irrigation farming in the hills and things. But when these big old mountains and rocks and things like that are in the way, it makes it kind of hard to farm. You have a lot more available land when the land is flat. So I don't think it's a coincidence that Goku tends to take these fights with the enemies and his training also even to places that are surrounded by rocky hills and mountains. Let that marinate for a second. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Nani?